Hey everyone, it's Havoc. We are here at the Monolith of Thirst. Uh, we'll open up the map. This is the fourth region, fourth boss. First region, second region, third region, fourth region right here. And level 40 is the recommended level for this boss. I'm level 46, so I'm a little bit overpowered. So if you're just level 40, um, it might not be as easy for you as it is for me. As far as gear goes, We've got a uh, tier 4 sniper rifle, I recalibrated it three times. Got a uh, super bullet precision mod on there for weak spot damage. And then we've got the outsider tier 4 assault rifle. Shattering ice. And then a bunch of tier 4 just uh, normal armor there. And then we've got the Butterfly Deviant, I'm gonna see if that's gonna do any damage to the Shadow Hound. In the toolbar you can see I've got uh, Activator for some health, and Living Armor for some insurance. Understood, you guys. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is take a sanity gummy, which is right here. And then make sure my health is maxed out. And then make sure to take your living armor. And let's head down there. I'm gonna go for the portal here. Now there's only two ways you can go in through, or uh, I'm sorry, there's only one way to go in through a portal. See, if you go in through this side, see how it's flat? The bricks are flat. If you go through that side, nothing will happen, see? So you wanna go through this side, the side where it's where there's texture and where it's glowing out of. All right, so I like to be near the teleporter and we're gonna send the, our uh, butterfly deviant at the shadow hound. And let's start. Okay, so make our way to the other teleporter. Yep, you want to actually wait when he goes underground like that. You want to wait a second. Um, if you go through the teleporter too quickly, uh, he'll actually change direction. All right, super important here. You got to destroy the nodes on his shoulders. Extremely important. If you don't do that, um, you won't be able to damage him in that phase. And if he's allowed to complete to that phase, and he hits you, um, real bad news. He does a ton of damage. Alright, that was a gravity pull move.
Alright, let's make a large sweeping motion here. Remember, wait for this, and then go through. Oh, he's just chilling. Okay, he's going immune. Get ready to attack his shoulders. It's nice if you can get him right off the bat like that. Okay, so we got both of the nodes on his shoulders. That means we're good to go for the next attack here. Go up into the air. Here we go. Yeah, as long as you uh, get those nodes off of his shoulders, I know I keep saying this, but I'm dead serious. If you don't get, especially for that second uh, roll up in the air, if you don't get that, you're pretty much screwed. He'll one hit kill ya. Alright, let's send our deviation out after him again. Oh, he hit me! <laughs> this is getting closer than that. Alright, and that's it. Definitely the hardest boss um, up to this point. A lot harder than Araxium, the spider boss. I would say probably twice as hard as the spider boss. Might take you a couple tries but you'll get used to its moves. Make sure you use the teleporters, make sure you know which side of the teleporter to use. Maybe for the first couple times, just really, or even, you know, watch this video or someone else's video a couple times. Just get used to uh, how it choreographs, uh, so you can tell when it's gonna do a certain move. Use the teleporters wisely. Do large running sweeps. Like, if you're not gonna use the teleporter, you can actually kind of run like that, like a large circle kind of, and that will dodge mo most of its attacks. So if you're not near a teleporter, something happens, do that to avoid uh, an attack. And then, of course, one last time, when those nodules pop up on its shoulders, make sure you delete those as fast as you can, because if he jumps into the air and does that spinning move, you are just screwed. All right, let's go see what Mitsuko has to say. Oh, you're back. It's good to see you again. Is it? I should have known you'd want another victory. I've got more memetics ready for you. I bet you she's gonna turn out to be the bad guy in all this. Okay, how would I talk to my wife here? You seem like something's wrong. Are you? Oh, neither of these are a good way to approach it. <laughs> Alright, we'll just go with that one and hope for the best. No, it's, it's nothing. Why don't you show me the new deviation you've got? I can sense so much hostility coming from it. This one must have been quite hard to contain. Oh, wow. Forget the deviation. I'm worried about you. <laughs> Gross. Seriously, what's bothering you? That's the right answer there. I'm fine. Really. It's just... When I checked out that dream catcher you caught last time, I think it affected me. It gave me nightmares about a woman I knew. From when I was being held by Rosetta, she consumed us all. You, me, the mayflies, all wiped out. It was so vivid. And the thing is, if Rosetta ever captured us again, I know it could really happen. Okay, yeah, you really think that could happen? Come on. 
You can't underestimate the evolutionists. They'll stop at nothing to get more powerful. They don't just absorb deviations to get stronger. They've done it to metahumans, too. A lot of mayflies died that way. And they're still hunting down those that remain. Okay. Now we'll show them what we're made of. You're always so confident. No matter what we're up against, you're ready to face it head on. Meanwhile, I'm here, complaining, worrying, hiding. I'm sorry. Don't worry, I I'm married. I'm used to it. Like you. After all, <laughs> we'll never be safe until the evolutionists are defeated, once and for all. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found this video useful. Godspeed.